How's it going everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to add Google Analytics over to your published Canva web website. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the first thing that you need to get out of the way is we want to make sure that we're logged into our Canva account as well as our Google Analytics account as administrators. So it's these two right here. So uh, we want to head over to Canva and we want to go to the website that we have published that we want to edit and add an analytics tracker to. So in this case, um, I just have a test dummy one. It's this one right here. So once you guys are in this page, you want to click on insights. So it's the icon with the um, statistics on it as an, you know, so here it is. So from here, you want to click on um, traffic. Now, normally, um, if you guys are a premium user of Canva, then you'd have full access to the uh, tracking statistics and analytics um, site, uh, side of things for your published website. So let's actually do try it for free. Okay, so Canva Pro, I don't think it actually shows, but it's whatever. So normally, um, once you guys get access to uh, the insights page, you'd want to click on traffic and you want to import the measurement ID or tracking ID that we can extract over from Google Analytics. So to show you guys what I mean, um, if you head over to Google Analytics like so, let's actually start from the homepage, it's like this. Um, you wanna to navigate to the dashboard, uh, look at the bottom left corner of your screen, click on admin, and under the data collection and modifications tab, there should be something that says data streams. So if you want to add in an analytics um, configuration to your Canva website, what you would need to do is click on the data stream that you want to copy over and copy the measurement ID like so. I'm going to copy it and we're going to head back to our website editor, click on insights and normally paste it here and basically authenticate the integration between the two platforms. And when you do, you guys are done. So yeah, there you guys have it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.